Domino Pro is a wireless system that will help you distinguish speech in difficult listening situations, such as school, at work, or in restaurants. It consists of a transmitter that picks up distant speech, linked wirelessly to a receiver that also picks up the conversation next to you. Together, they deliver the words directly in your ears, even if the speech comes from a distance. Domino works with all hearing aids and cochlear implants that are equipped with a telecoil, but it's also a great choice if you just have difficulty hearing occasionally and there is a wide range of original accessories available. The Domino system consists of two main units, a transmitter and a receiver. We start and have a closer look at the receiver. The receiver unit is the main control. On the front here, you see the buttons that control all functions. On the side here, you plug in the listening accessories and the charger. I will now connect the listening accessory, in this case a 3.5 mm stereo plug like this. This is a pair of earphones, but there is a wide range of listening accessories to choose from. Press and hold the on-off button to start the receiver. The LED lights up and indicates which volume is currently set. The receiver unit recalls your previous volume setting when it's turned on. Use the volume controls plus button to increase the sound level and the minus button to decrease the sound level. The more LEDs that are lit, the higher the volume. These two buttons are the tone controls and it's where you set your preferred sound. Press the right button to increase treble and press the left button to decrease the treble. The internal microphones are controlled by the mic button here. A green indicator shows that you are in omnidirectional setting, which pick up sound from all directions. Press the mic button and it will switch to orange indicator. That shows that you are in directional setting. With the directional setting, you can point to the sound source that you want to listen to and it will dampen sounds from other directions. The mic button toggles between omnidirectional and directional setting. On the back side is the belt clip that allows you to easily attach the unit to a belt or on your clothes. The transmitter unit is powered on by pressing the on-off button. The LED flashes red to show that it's turned on. You activate the transmitter's microphones by pressing the RF button on the receiver unit. By pressing the RF button again, you can toggle between the transmitter's omnidirectional setting, indicated by a green light, and the directional setting, indicated by an orange light. By pressing and holding the mic button, you can use the transmitter and the receiver at the same time to listen to both distant and nearby speech. You can use the transmitter's omnidirectional mode to pick out sound at a distance. The receiver's internal microphones will pick up sound in your vicinity and mix it with a sound signal from the transmitter. This feature is useful in a meeting or at a dinner where you want to hear people near you, while also following a conversation on the other side of the table. You can use your Domino system anywhere in the world. The system uses the 2.4 GHz global frequency standard for wireless communication. The Domino package includes a USB universal charger and various plugs that you use depending on where in the world you are traveling to. Just select your plug and connect it like this. This is the output where you connect the USB contact. The charging pins have a yellow marking on them. Connect them to the charging socket on the units, also indicated by the same yellow color. Let's have a look at how to connect the Domino transmitter unit to an external sound source. It can, for example, be connected to your TV, so you can enjoy high-definition stereo sound, totally wireless. The transmitter unit has a sound input on the side. 
It can be used to connect a lapel microphone with a 2.5mm tele jack plug. Click the lapel microphone to a jacket or the sleeve and you can hide away the transmitter in your pocket. This is a good alternative when using Domino in lectures or class. You can also connect an audio cable that has a 2.5mm stereo tele jack plug at one end. The other end in this case, a 3.5mm jack plug is connected to a sound source, here illustrated with a phone. Regardless if you connect it to your TV or any other sound source, you can enjoy high definition stereo sound, totally wireless. Since there are many different TVs with different sound output connections, we have also added a phono cable that has RCA connectors, which are common on most TV sets. Now, let's have a look at the advanced settings menu. Here you can further customize your system. To access the advanced settings menu, follow these steps. Make sure the receiver unit is on. Press and hold the on off button, immediately followed by press and hold the volume down button. Keep them down for approximately two and a half seconds and you are now in advanced settings. To step forward in the menu, use the RF button. To go back, use the MIC button. With this large round button, you navigate in the selected menu. Use either the plus or the minus buttons or the arrow keys. We are now in balance control. The sound balance can be set to compensate, for example for hearing loss in one ear. Press the right button to adjust the balance to the right ear and the left button to adjust the balance to the left ear. I step forward and come to the basic attenuation setting. Here you can limit the maximum sound output. For example, if you want to limit the volume for a child, press the left tone button to reduce the maximum volume and the right button to increase the maximum volume. I step forward to stereo or mono setting for line in. Press the minus button to select mono and the plus button to select stereo. The mono setting is useful if sound only can be heard with one ear. The next menu selection is bass reduction. Low frequency interference such as fans and road noise can be tiring if you're exposed to it for a long period. By activating bass reduction, low frequency interference sounds are reduced. You activate it by pressing the plus button and deactivate it by pressing the minus button. The next setting is tone control lock and preset. You can deactivate the tone control by pressing the minus button. You activate it again by pressing the plus button. When deactivated, you can also adjust and set your preferred tone setting. Press the RF button again and you are now in key lock setting. The key lock is disabled by default and that is indicated with the far left and right LEDs blinking slowly. To enable the key lock, press the volume plus button and the LEDs will stop blinking. To disable the key lock, press the volume minus button. If the key lock is enabled, it will automatically be activated after 10 seconds if you don't press any buttons. To step forward in the menu, use the RF button the last menu selection is where you reset to factory settings. To reset your domino system to factory settings, press and hold down the plus button like this. When the LED ramp is fully lit, it will blink to indicate that the product is reset. To exit the advanced settings menu, press the on off button once and you are back in user mode. We have developed a wide range of original accessories for the Domino system. Our new powerful neck loop is specially developed for hearing aid users. The included textile tube is covering the cable and gives additional comfort when wearing the neck loop over clothing or directly against the skin. 
The loop cable can be separated to make it easier to put on, but it's also for safety reasons. To position the neck loop correctly and make it stay in place, you can use the clothing clip on the cable. The neck loop is available also with a short cable, so you can click the domino receiver onto the neck loop housing and carry it around your neck. The other listening accessories are used without hearing aids. The in-ear earphones are small and lightweight, with great sensitivity and excellent isolation from ambient noise. They are carefully selected to ensure high clarity and great detail. For those who prefer headphones, we have these robust stereo headphones with great sound quality. They feature semi-closed drivers that reduce sound leakage and are foldable for easy travel. The Stetoclips are capable of delivering sound pressure up to 140 decibels. They are very comfortable to wear and really easy to put on and take off. Now let's have a look at something you normally don't have to do, pairing the units together. If you buy a new or additional receiver to your system, you need to pair it with a transmitter. Notice the word connect here on the transmitter unit. Pair the units by pressing the MIC button and the RF button simultaneously. On the transmitter, press the connect button. The LED light ramp on the receiver indicates that the pairing has been completed by lighting up from the sides and in towards the middle. Let's press the MIC and RF button on the receiver unit. At the same time, press the connect button on the transmitter unit. As you can see here on the light ramp, the pairing is now completed. Thank you for watching this e-learning movie from Bellman & Symphon. You can find more information on our website.